Steve, can you explain the structure of a romantic comedy and how does that differ from the structure of a dark comedy? Uh, I, you know, I think uh, the structures are actually not that dissimilar. Um, uh, in a romantic comedy, you have a, a protagonist um, who is, uh, has taken an awkward stance in life. Um, just think of uh, the image of a man slipping on a banana peel. That's, you, know, you see somebody kind of waving their arms, wait, looking for balance. And in a, in, in a comedy, the, the, the comic paradigm, the, the, the comic hero's journey, is that you, you start your film with this character being off balance but not knowing it. Bill Murray thinks all he needs is to work at a bigger network. And really, he's, he's a, a misanthropic, miserable guy. Um, Sandra Bullock in, um, uh, in While You Were Sleeping is, is desperately, uh, you know, locked in to herself. But she thinks, well, that's the way it's always going to be. Um, in When Harry Met Sally, uh, Billy Crystal uh, thinks he knows everything there is to know about women. He's got it all figured out. He's got all the answers. Uh, and, and what happens is, is something occurs, uh, the catalyst. Uh, the premise. Something occurs that pushes this character off balance. And what they do is they spend the first part of the film desperately trying to return to the normal world which they're used to, but which we in the audience see is desperately off balance, is the wrong stance in the world for them. And along the way, as they're trying, as they're going on this journey to, re to return to where they started from, they start to realize, they, they, they become aware, they discover that there's a whole new way to learn, way to, way, there's a whole new way to stand in the world and, and to make them a, a, a whole person. So in both romantic comedy and in, in regular comedies, in dark comedies, you have characters who are desperately uh, struggling to retain the kind of contorted um, stance they have in the world and they learn to stand straight in the world. And they, so every character in, in a comedy, every protagonist has to start with a hole in them, some, something lacking, something missing, because that's what the journey's about, to, to, to become a better human being. In a dark comedy, uh, the writer is not so much interested in the person becoming a better human being as much as uh, kind of revealing how really miserable the world is and maybe the character finds out in, in really dark comedies, you know, the characters lose, like in um, Wag the Dog. Uh, but even in, in most satirical comedies, you do want the character to have some kind of moment of, of satisfaction. You know, what some people might think of a happy ending, but, but really you don't want the character to end up beaten and miserable. That's three quarters of the way through the movie. You want the character to have learned something and become a better person because of it. Um, Julia Roberts in My Best Friend's Wedding. It would be horrible if she ended up ruining uh, Cameron Diaz's wedding and still being unhappy of herself and, you know, and then going off by herself. It's, it's impossible. You could do that. But I think as an audience, we're all more satisfied with her not getting the guy, but learning a lesson that she's satisfied with. She's satisfied that she doesn't get the guy because she's gotten something else. She's gotten a better understanding of who she is and how to live in the world.